nation hallelujah we are mobilizing the troop putting ourselves together and rising up into a different dimension open your bibles with me to the book of habakkuk chapter 2 we want to look at something in habakkuk chapter 2 habakkuk chapter 2 we read him from verse 2 to 4 it says then the lord answered me and said write the vision down make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it will speak praise be to the name of the lord oh i just heard two people praise be to the name of the lord and it will not what it will not lie though it tarries wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry behold the proud his soul is not upright in him but the just shall live by faith say the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith the just shall live by faith praise be to god today we are setting on course for a, a different dimension hallelujah for a higher dimension the first point that i'll be talking to you today is about expectation 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 in the book of nehemiah chapter 2 verse 20 nehemiah was speaking to the people of israel and, uh, specifically to sambala tobias and the rest and he said that the lord will prosper us and we will do the work but you will not be part of it when the breakthrough comes we are expecting the lord to do mighty things in our in our midst that just that live by faith live by expectation they live by knowing that the lord is about to do something new by knowing that when we mobilize ourselves the lord is going to take us on a different dimension praise be to god in this house praise be to god in this house the bible says that god sent nehemiah to come and speak to the people of israel to rebuild the walls of jerusalem hallelujah and the bible says that when he came when he, when they looked at the vast job and they looked at the number you see when you begin to count the physical number you will miss them that are with us in the spirit are oh, you not here with me today praise be to the name of the lord you will miss those that are with us in the spirit the bible says that a day came when the aramean army came against the prophet elisha and the servant just looked at the number and counted those that were outside and he said that oh my papa today we are dead everything is dead today you see when you don't have expectation when the enemy comes around he will kill you praise be to god but i've got an expectation though the vision may tarry it shall surely come to pass though we might crumble we might fall down but we'll rise up again we might stumble but we'll rise up again praise be to god i've got some expectation today and the bible says something he said that the, uh, elisha said to to his servant he said oh god that you may open the eyes of my servant you see that just walk by faith and by faith we walk in the spirit not counting in the physical when you begin to count your deficiency in the physical you begin to lose the power that god has given you in the realms of the spirit you are not here with me today oh i feel a different anointing this morning oh. You want to give a clap offering unto Jesus. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The prophet Elisha said that you may open the eyes of my servant that you may see that them that are with us in the spirit are greater than them that are standing outside. When you begin to count the physical, you begin to lose the essence of that which is in the spirit that which the Lord has given to you. The devil is a liar this morning. Glory glory be to god we are not going to lose sight we are not going to lose sight praise be to god we are mobilizing the troop onward christian soldiers we are marching forward there is nothing called backwards in the books of god we move forward and never backwards oh you're not here with me today the bible says that nehemiah came with an expectation he came because he knew the god that has sent him but the bible says that when god encountered moses he said when you go to egypt tell them that i am has sent thee and, and and moses went with confidence because he was expecting some greater thing to happen because for you to fight against pharaoh you gotta have something in your arsenal and what moses had was god this morning do you have an expectation if you have an expectation this morning no i'm not talking about self-conceited expectation i'm talking about expectation that is going to edify the body of christ an expectation that is going to bring the troop together an expectation that is going to put us in a different dimension oh glory be to god 
the bible says in the book of john chapter 5 verse 5 to 9 the bible says that jesus was preaching in the temple and that day was a sabbath day praise be to god and when he was preaching the people were expecting something you see when you come to the presence of god you got to come with an expectation when you come without no expectation you're going to leave the same the Bible says that then after preaching he saw a man that was just sitting there paralyzed and the Bible says that he asked him what do you want me to do for you why don't you just get here he said that when the water is stirred up somebody just passes by me and get into the water and the Bible says Jesus said get up take up your mat and begin to walk when you come to the presence of God and you bring an expectation God is going to meet you and he is going to fulfill his purpose concerning your life We've got an expectation today. I, I, I've got an expectation today. I know what the Lord is about to do in my life. I know what the Lord is going to do in this church. It doesn't matter what the devil will do. It doesn't matter the, the stones that the devil will throw. It doesn't matter the bombs that the enemy will bring. But the Lord's church will still stand. The purpose of God will still be made manifest. I am expecting the power of God to move. I am expecting the glory of God to move. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I said I'm in a, in a grave expectation. I'm in on a time mode. Hallelujah. I'm on a time mode. Hallelujah. Just watching the clock, the clock tick every minute and knowing and expecting God is about to strike. And when he begins to strike, he begins to strike big. Hallelujah. That is why David said something. Yet though I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because I know who is with me. Glory be to the Lord. If you know the God that you are serving this morning, if you know the power of Jesus that you are following this morning, if you know that he, there is power in his resurrection, that he resurrected on the third day, if you believe that he died and rose again on the third day, and now he's sitting at the right hand side of God, then you know that everything that pertains to godliness shall be granted unto you. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As somebody sitting beside you, are you in expectation today? Are you in an expectation today? LRCC, are you in expectation today? God came to ask you, are you expecting something? Are you expecting something from the Lord today? At church, are you expecting something from the Lord? Or did you just come to serve, just warm a pew? I did not just come to preach. I came to tell you something that the Lord wants me to tell you to understand that every time that we come in his presence, I come with an expectation. Amen. And that's why I know that today my spirit man has been lifted up. That is why I know that today I feel a double portion of anointing. That is why today I feel a different dimension. That is why today I feel a different level. Because the Lord is working some wonders in our midst. Glory be to the Lord. The second point. Effort. 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 I got to put in some effort. To go on a higher dimension, I got to put in some effort. I can't sit down aloof. I can't sit down unconcerned. I can't sit down with laziness. I can't sit down with procrastination. I got to do something with some effort. I, I, I've got to do something. You see, you can't just sit down and let the job fall on your lap. I got to go out there and put in some resume. The more you put in your resume, the more you get the chance to be in the place where you want to be. Praise be to God. I've got some effort today. What kind of effort are you putting in the house of God today? When you want to see the Lord do some expecting things in your life, you got to put in some effort. You got to put in some time. You got to put in some prayer time. You got to put in some study time you got to put in some fasting time that is why we are fasting we are putting in our effort we are putting in our confidence in God oh you're not here with me today glory be to God I want you to turn your Bibles with me to the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 11 let's look at something in Romans chapter 12 verse 11 very quickly Romans chapter 12 verse 11 glory be to the name of Jesus Romans 12 11. the Bible says not lagging in diligence fervent in spirit serving the Lord not lagging in diligence in other words not wasting your time not sitting there watching TV 24 hours a day seven days a week a church member LRCC member you got to be on fire you got to be on fire praying every time studying the word of God every time and stop mumbling and murmuring all the time and whining all the time a whining spirit is always a depressing spirit 
Praise be to God. 